Traxxas model requires regular care and maintenance in order to stay in top running condition. Now, in this section, we're going to focus on air filter maintenance and after run procedures. First, the air filter. Now, you must clean the air filter after every hour of runtime, even if the filter looks clean. The dust is often too fine to see. So even if dirt isn't visible on the filter, it is present inside the foam after any amount of runtime. Remove the filter by pulling the filter body firmly to the side to release it from the carburetor bore. Do not pull straight up. The TRX 2.5 filter is made up of three pieces, a rubber filter base, a plastic housing, and an oiled foam element. Pull the rubber base out of the filter body. With the base removed, the foam element is visible in the bottom of the filter body. Now pull out the foam element. Thoroughly wash all three pieces of the filter assembly in hot soapy water. Dishwashing detergent works very well. Wash them twice, then thoroughly dry the parts with a clean towel or compressed air. And remember to always wear your safety goggles when using compressed air. Saturate the foam element with clean 30 weight or 40 weight motor oil. Squeeze the excess oil from the foam. Reassemble the filter and install it on the vehicle. Make sure the rubber base fits securely on the carburetor. If you plan on putting your nitro model away for more than just a few hours, you'll need to perform after-run maintenance on the engine. And whenever a nitro engine is shut off, some fuel always remains in the engine. Because the methanol that's used in the fuel absorbs moisture, it can cause severe corrosion of the steel engine parts if it's not removed. The best way to protect yourself against internal engine corrosion is to always shut off the engine by pinching the fuel line and by performing these maintenance procedures. You'll need your glow plug wrench, paper towels, and a can of WD-40. And begin by completely emptying the fuel tank and properly disposing of leftover fuel. Now do not combine old fuel with your fresh fuel. Next, switch on the radio system so that the carburetor is set at idle. Now, we're going to connect the easy start and attempt to start the engine. The engine will probably run for a few seconds as it uses up any fuel still left in the fuel lines or in the engine. Now clean the outside of the engine with compressed air or an aerosol motor cleaner. Once the engine is clean, remove the glow plug power wire, glow plug, and the air filter. Okay. Remove the air filter by pulling the filter body firmly to the side to release it from the carburetor bore. Open the throttle fully and spray a one second burst of WD-40 into the carburetor. Also spray a one second burst into the glow plug hole. Okay. Place a paper towel over the engine and plug in the easy start. Press the button and spin the engine for about 10 seconds. Remove the paper towel and repeat this process two more times. Now replace the glow plug and the glow plug wire and the air filter. Your model is now ready for action at a moment's notice. And with that, we've come to the end of our program. All of us here at Traxxas hope that we've been able to get you off to a great start with your new Traxxas RC model. As a reminder, our Traxxas customer support team is at your disposal to answer any more questions you might have. Call toll-free 1-888-TRAXXAS. You can also find out more about your model and join thousands of other Traxxas enthusiasts in our online community at www.traxxas.com. I'm Robert Meadows. Thank you for watching.